Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. I have a cup of colors I didn't use. I thought I was going to use it with a submersion pour and uh, in combination, so I'm going to do a ring pour. I have used my squeeze bottle to apply some white paint. I do not want a super heavy la layer. And I have glasses on my head, which are important for me to see the difference between canvas. Oh, really? Okay, well you know what? It's a ring pour, so whatever that is, it's going to disappear. And the paint that's going on is basically to help other paint move. And I don't know what that is. I bet I do. It comes in Floetrol if you don't, if you don't sieve it through something like a stocking, which I'm going to buy some, some kind of mesh to put in my bottles very shortly. And uh, I'm probably going to raise a I'm going to probably replace the eraser caps that I use on my paint squeeze bottles with uh, wire nuts from Home Depot, probably, more than likely. So I'm not just going to do one ring, ring pour. I'm going to do as many rings as I feel like, and I'm not going to start in the center. I'm going to start around the outside of the center, and then if there's paint left, I'll put it in the center when I'm done. I'm wondering if I have enough yellow in there. <laughs> Acrylic paint always dries darker. So one of the reasons why my paintings are so bright is because I like them to look, you know, vibrant when they're dry. And ooh, there's that stretcher bar right in the middle of the back. I'm taking too long to do this, I know. But it's an 18 by 24 inch canvas. I'm not sure I mentioned that, so that's a good idea. It has a stretcher bar right down the middle of the back, which is a good thing to hang on to. I want this to be a fairly smooth layer, and it's taking me an unusually long time to do it. And I'm going to knock all the paint off I can get off, put it down on the side, and put that in my bucket, and then I'm going to pour myself some rings. And they should all be whatever colors came in succession as I added them. And I will often fill in. I want this to be a lot more random than I've made recently. But I'm going to fill in around so that I have... I want some orange in there right now. And I'm stepping on tips. And I want them in the tip container. Yes, that's what I want. Nice ring. I want to try some little ones. I thought about putting much less paint in each layer and seeing what would happen. I thought about starting on one side. Wow, I got a big lump of something in there. I saw it go in. Do I want to try and find out what it is now or later? I guess later, because <laughs> I don't have that choice anymore. Yeah, something's Something's lumpy in there. All right, I'm getting down to the bottom of what's in my ring pour cup, and I see that I want some more stuff. So I've got my colors handy, and I'm going to use them. And I really like the way this works, because you get a whole different selection of things moving all at once. Yeah, I'm going to do my center one. I kind of like doing them without a center one for a while the other day and everything moved down to one area. What do I want to put in there? I think I'm going to add a little more pink. And I'm still adding white, or that was white pearl actually, between my layers. Let's do that over here first. And the white invariably seems to disappear. I'm going to do it again. Until I'm done, I'm going to add some more orange. Ah, there's the white. It is a large canvas. I think I can get away with this. getting some really nice cells in here. I think some blue is in order. 
This might be the most rings I've ever poured. And now I want purple. <laughs> Go figure. I'm getting so spoiled by this. This is so cool. I really like doing this. I kind of want some, some more pink. Pink doesn't usually show up. The fluorescents don't show up unless you use them with white. Most generally. But that was fantastic. Let's see how much paint we can get out of the bottom of this. Got 12 minutes left. I ran out of time last time, so I should tell you guys. If you shop my Amazon link, it costs you nothing extra, and it helps me out. Uh, I have over 330 videos, probably 340 by now. So if you like what you see, there's lots more to see. Um, I really appreciate it when you guys give me a thumbs up. Because that helps me get included into the feed and more people get to see my videos. And that helps me because this is my only source of income. This YouTube gig. Which also reminds me, thank you very much for the job. More than 35,000 of you. Um, pretty Probably almost 40,000 by now. That's a wonderful number, don't you think? Um, I like different stuff in the center of these, so I'm perfectly happy to scrape my cup out. Right under the video link, there's my Teespring designs, which I'm trying to keep up with, but I don't really understand their system. They, they only show things for a limited amount of time, and then they disappear. But I think if you click on any of the clothing lines, any of the items, it will lead you to the Teespring, my, my store in particular at Teespring. So I'm going to tip this for a minute and see what happens. Everything went down there at a pretty even rate. Oops, I see that. What is that? That is time for that to go. That's what that is. And I see this too. And I want some more bright color over there. And I'm willing to... And I see that. Really? Now I got gotcha. Ta. No one will ever know. Just you, me, and 35,000 other people. <laughs> this way, if I feel like I have the necessity to add some specific colors that I don't have in here, I like being able to keep certain things. I'm, I am going to do one of these where I space them a lot further apart, so that in theory there will be some negative space, be it black or be it white. And paint flows to paint, so if you're doing something like this, you can add paint where you want paint to flow. This is stellar. So I'm thinking it's time to pull out an edge catcher. And we have some pretty ones. And I think that's the side. That's the ticket to use. So I'm going to put that as high up as I can on that. No, I'm not. I'm going to turn it around. What am I going to do? Um, I'm going to use a different edge catcher. Yes, I am. I'm going to use a nice fresh edge catcher. And this is what they look like. They're just sheets of plastic that come in packaging. You can use cardboard if you need to. And in order to keep it out of the painting, I'm going to let it roll to the top. What did I mean by that? The top of the edge catcher. I'm trying to talk and listen to myself speak at the same time. I see something in there I don't want in there. couple of things actually. <laughs> I like those things over here when they were spreading out. So I'm kind of hoping that we can keep them spreading out. But when I use the edge catcher I puddle my paint like now. And as long as my hand's on there it's not going to run over too much. And then I'm going to throw it right back in. Which will in theory spread out what we have nicely. And I like all that, but I want it to go over here. And I'm willing to just take a moment and do that. And I like the, the background is still white and wet and black and the background will sell. This is my Princeton Catalyst Art Tool Spatula. I have a whole selection of them. You may see them in a moment or not. They're available on my Amazon link right below the video along with the uh, 
the OXO omelet turning spatula, the one with the orange handle that I spread my paint at with at the beginning of the video. I'm going to take this gorgeous paint, this paint right here, and use it right now because I can, as long as I get a, a way to get it over everything without dripping too badly, although that probably would have been interesting too. Because it is a form of accidental art, this pouring stuff. But I see no reason to waste paint if I can salvage it. And it comes right off fairly easily. And then, in theory, <laughs> we can start to recenter things and let everything flow right back down to the other end. I'd like it to flow off this side, actually, before it goes down there. I'm going to miss those beautiful ribs of purple I just saw disappear. And I'm not seeing too many cells, but that doesn't mean anything because we haven't done any torching yet. This is a rather large canvas. I do have more paint I can use off my edge catcher right there, which doesn't bother me. I'm wondering what to do up there, up there being over here, and I think I want some black. And I don't mind just swiping it in with my catalyst, my Princeton Catalyst Art Tool silicone spatula. I love the little white white cells in the black, and I feel the same way about the black and white. It just works out perfect. Let that go right over. It's different colors. It's a lot more subtle than I was expecting it to be. I guess I could go crazy and add some really interesting colors. We haven't uh, we haven't tipped yet. I mean, torched yet. Duh. And I don't mind getting funky with my spatulas, I'll tell you now. Three quarters of the pleasure is playing with the spatulas. <laughs> So that's not bothering me. I actually like that a lot. Add some va 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 voom to everything. I could feather some stuff out. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to do that yet or not. Feathering out, I mean by making tendrils with a skewer once I've cleaned it off. I haven't done it in a long time. I don't think I want to do it now either. All right, so I'm not unhappy with any of that right now at all. I'm not sure about this up here or that up there. And I'm thinking if I want things to work out for myself down this way, I ought to repeat those colors down here. And I'm not going to clean my spatula off because I want the colors mixing. Like that. And I have paint dripping over the edges, which I'm just going to tap into place quickly. Like I tap all kinds of stuff in. And I'm wondering if I want maybe just a little bit of pink in there. Yeah, I like it. And because it's near the white, I might actually be able to keep it. Now that I see what I did over here, I don't want those there anymore. I am missing one of my favorite spatulas, which is the round tip one, but it's around here somewhere. It's probably in a bucket. Let's 
as long as paint is thick, it will heal itself. Not sure I like that. I could put some white in there and, and fix it up. I kind of don't, I don't know where that came from. That was not a plan. I like all this down here. We got two minutes left for me to tell you whatever I need to tell you, which is there might still be a contest running where if you can find the studio tour for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery on the playlist, or they're actually posted on each video for a while now, they'll disappear soon enough. If I get enough entrance by donation, I'll run a contest on a consistent basis because that's good income for me. And somebody gets a at this point, at least, a choice of one of three $320 paintings. So that's kind of cool. I like that orange a lot more even than I thought I was going to. A lot more. And I might want some more up there, too. <laughs> now that I've seen it. What a great color. Poppin'. We haven't torched, and I need to torch. i got a minute 39, and I think I have a little bit more than that, too. We've got some really nice cells coming up. Some big ones. They're beautiful. This reminds me of the last painting, only bolder and bigger and more sweeping. I like how the layers went. I'm happy I stopped tipping. We torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint from mixing the paint with a pouring medium, most generally. And after they're mixed, and you sit them in bottles like mine, which have a marble in them, by the way, to mix them well, they separate, so you need to shake them before you use them every time. I want to mention also I have over 300 and probably 340 videos by now. I'd appreciate it if you watch them, and I'd really appreciate a thumbs up so you keep me in the YouTube feed and other people get to experience what I'm doing and sharing with you guys. I want to thank all my contributors for keeping me painting, as I always do. I'm very, very appreciative, very grateful. If anybody wants to contribute and join the contest, look for a PayPal or Patreon link underneath the video, or the, the icons are on my YouTube channel header. There's, pay, uh, there's, there's Pinterest and Instagram links, along with two Facebook albums containing the wet and dry artworks from YouTube. And I'm just dying to put some more orange up there. I guess that's going to happen right now. Don't drip, don't, don't, don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like that. We have not much time left for me to decide to do a little bit more of that. That's a different color. That's okay. I don't mind it. I really like this orange. I'd like it if it would behave. And so far, so good. Find a pointed end of that. think it will even sell for me, maybe, if there's wet paint, still white, white wet paint left. Alright, I'm pretty well happy with that. I say that and then I see something that I want to fix. And I really like those cells in there, so I don't think I'm going to do much fixing. I'm going to leave the cells and then just include that pink line in there. And uh, that's me and you guys. So thank you for being here. Thank you for all of the appreciation and the comments. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really need those and I really appreciate them. Thank you so much. Um, trying to think of what else. The paint pouring recipe that I use is in the body of the description underneath the video. I do have, I am attempting a line of, of t-shirts and other stuff from Teespring, which is the clothing you see under some of the videos. And if you shop there, it helps me out a lot. If you shop my Amazon link, you can get the OXO omelet turning spatula. Where is it? It's right there. I'll bring it back. I'm trying not to drip on things. This is your friend. Buy the big one. It's less expensive and it works better. Gosh, this is awesome. This is just, oh, I'm so happy. Thank you guys for joining me. This is, that's, I'm not so sure about that. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio with it being sunny and raining at the same moment, if you can hear that on the canopy or not. I will see you guys around in the next video, more than likely. 
I'd like to get that more centered so you can see it better. And I can 